Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach about the relational operator and logical operators and primitive data types of Python. So here, relational operators, we have a relational operators in Python here. Equal, equal, not equal, greater than and less than, greater than equal and less than equal. So these are all the things we have do in practical. So let's go to Jupyter Notebook. I already taught in my last video tutorial how to open the Jupyter Notebook, right? So here, right? Right now here, this is the, here where we will be able to type the code, right? So here, I'm going to type, inside this bracket, I'm going to type 10 plus 20, 10 plus 20, right here, right here, multiply, 10 minus 5 what will be the answer here we will be doing it here as 2 2 2 let's run the code here this one should be the answer right 35 so after that it will be equal okay that will be the answer okay so okay this one should be the 30 30 into 5 30 into 5, uh, 30 into 5 150, 150 into uh, power by 2. Okay, this one should be the answer. Right. After that, what you are going to do is uh, another thing, I am going to do it here. 150, here 150, here into 2. Okay, this one should be the answer here. 10 plus 20 is a 30. 30 into 5. So 150, 150 into 2, uh, power into 2, this is the answer, right? Perfect. Now I'm going to do it. Divide by 3 into 2. This all the exercises have we already done. So again, I'm going to do it here. So the practical lesson, right? So here, if you run it, this one will be the answer, right? right? Now let's go back to our relational operators in Python. Let's go. Right. First, what I'm going to do is we have 10 greater than 5. Whether it's true or not, 10 greater than 5. Right. You can write here all things are like this. Okay. We don't need a print statement. If you are right, if you are if you are right in checking your uh, pie charm, you have to write like this. So you have to put in front of here print. Then only it will work. Right. Okay. So in in Jupyter Notebook, we no need a print statement. It, it, it take care of the print statement itself. But in PyCharm, you have to use the print statement. Right. After that, I'm going to do it here. Another one is, it is true. 10 is greater than 5. 2 greater than 5. What will be the answer? Shift, enter. False. It's never been. 2 is never greater than 5. Got it? Now, I'm going to do another thing is here. 5 equal equal 5 shift plus enter it's true 5 is equal equal to 5 okay so here 5 equal equal 2 it's false 5 5 is never equal equal to 2 after that we have write 5 not equal 5 5 is not equal by its false it is equal equal to 5 5 is not equal into 10 5 is not equal to 10 it's true okay it's not equal to true all right so you have to do like this right this sim this, this is a simple exercise you have you have to write it okay this is a practice one this 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 is this is very helpful you to learn Python from scratch. It's very important stuff. Okay, this is very important stuff. Less than, greater than. Okay, this is less than, greater than. Okay, less than. So here, five less than two. What will the answer? False. Five is greater than two. One. One is less than. 
fits through. Okay, we have to learn these facts. They're very simple. Okay, these are the things you have, you have. You must learn about the Python. Okay, this is the most important stuff. Okay, if you are if you are want to run this all the things in PyCharm, you have to write a print statement. Okay, print statement. same output, but print, print statement. If you write the print statement, then only the PyCharm will be take care of the code. Otherwise, it won't care about the code. So the print is the important of PyCharm. The Jupyter notebook, we no need the print, print statement. It, it it automatically take care of it. Right. After that, we let's see the AND operator. What's the AND operators? If you go to the logical operators, logical operators. We have a logical operator and or not. These are the three signs of there. Now let's back to here to the notebook. How to use them? How to use them? Put out new to the notebook. Get the new one. Okay, this is how you get the new one, right? So you have to write thin. So write that here at the top is a logical operators. So here we have to think of this one as a markdown. Right? So you have to write here. Under the things you have to write. Under the heading you have to write. 10 greater than 5. Here 20. Less than 40. In between these two conditions, you have to write and. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, what's the meaning of and is if both conditions should be true, it is working. Okay. Th this is true, but this is false. But it is false. Okay. The both conditions should be true. It is working. Otherwise, it it not working. That is the meaning of and. Okay. Here, in this scenario, ten greater than five. Ten is greater than five. Condition true. Here, 20, 20 is less than 40. This both condition is true. Okay, so shift plus enter, it's true. Right, it is true. Right, now here, let's see 10 greater than 5, it's true, and 20, 20 is greater than 40. This one is true, but this one since this one is true, but this is false. Okay, 10 greater than 5 is true, and so 20 not greater than 40, but what will that this is false? Right, got it. Now I'm going to go to another example 10 equal equal 5 and 20. Greater than 40. But we will answer. 10 equal equal 5. This condition is false. This both false. But what will the answer? It's false. Right. Now, now we have idea about and operate. Both conditions should be true. It's false. Okay. It's once false, it's getting false. Right. Now we talk about the OR operators. At least one condition is true, it works. So here I'm going to check it the OR 10 greater than 5. Same example. Click OR 20 less than 40. And again, it's working. But in, in this in this example, both are true. Uh, 10 greater than 5 is true. Or 20 greater than uh, less than 40 is both good you get the answer as true All right now again i'm going to again 10 equal equal 5 or 20 greater than 40 this both conditions should be false now what will be the answer shift enter ah oh, sorry here this one should be there syntax error so here we have right or 
let's run it now false now let's check another one 10 greater than 5 20 or 20 greater than 40 okay in this time this condition is since this condition is true other hand this condition is false since this condition is true but this condition is false but it's getting true why at least one condition is true if you go through here shift plus enter shift go now here now we have an idea about the operators right i'm going to do another one is not operators so now here 10 greater than 4 at the moment this condition is true but if you are going to use it in front of here not what is the not keyword now again set test it now it's false if it is not it's false since it's true if it is put in front of the in front of new not it's getting false okay right i hope you understand the stuff well this one you have to check it right so uh, now here i am going to go to another example 20 you have to write along with the print statement when you are do it do it this one all the things in uh, pycharam you have to write the, along with the print statement then on its work right 30 and put and operator so do it here 10 equal equal 10 what will be the answer or so that again or operator you have to check two conditions 10 greater than 5 10 greater than 5 and 100 less than 200 what will be the answer 20 less than 30 true and 10 equal equal 10 it's true or 10 greater than 5 is true and 100 less than 20 this all things are true but the answer is true first one is uh right 20 greater than 30 this one should be false so this we have tested here and operator so first time false second one is true 10 greater than 5 is true and 100 less than 20 uh, 100 uh, 100 less than 200 is true the first condition since the first condition is since the first condition is false but second condition is true right so first one is printed as false second one printed as true that's it now if you put it here not what happened Say, sorry, here what happened is the printer helps so that's why it's not working. Let's see. So here now it's true. Now this we have put it in not, it will be true. It's working as a upper hand. Uh, it work it it work as a uh, other side so all the things have become true that's it false also getting true here this one true or false so it's getting as a true right that's it this are uh, these this examples are very must when you are doing the python right very this is most important stuff it's logical operators right now let's go to another one open the new jupyter notebook i'm going to look at the primitive data type python has four primitive data types integer floats boolean and string okay let's see one by one right first what i'm going to do is 
here let's type 2 enter here 2 will be the answer it's integer here let's type bar it, it displays as an output display as bar now here you can see here this is the integer this is the string this is string okay text right so now i'm going to write it there this one you have to write what's the type this one you can easily type type shift plus enter it int this one how to identify the type type the put type shift plus enter is string str means string now we have to write the float value 3.5 it despair 3.5 now i'm going to in front of here you have to type shift plus enter it's flopped if you can see here it automatically took the uh, type of primitive types okay for this two it is it automatically took the uh, primitive uh, primitive type as int if it is write any sentence in between the brackets it it automatically considers the program consider this one should be the string if you write the point values program easily understand user wrote in float right okay so now again i'm going to do it nothing is type boolean i'm going to write a boolean value it's true what the output will be Sorry, this case sensitive will be Python will be take care of the case sensitive. You have to write the true line here. Now say it's true. If this error means spelling here, if this error it will be marked as black color. So that's it. You have to write like this. Now here, type false. See, it's both. Now if you have an idea, if you have a good idea about the things. Okay. Now here, now in, in this statement, you have to write in the price term, you have to write like this. Print type. Now type this one as a true. So boom. But the it, it shows the output is different. Uh, in between here cars is coming but the but the answer is right it's both okay if you write the print print okay this is how you have to write the in PyCharm you have to write like this okay if you are writing uh, without print it, it won't show the output okay you must write on the print but here also you have to write print in PyCharm print you have to put the print string that's it it generated the output like this you have to understand the things well okay you have to understand the things so it's it is very most important stuff right another important stuff here is yes yes instance in stands 10 comma int what will thou it's true but 10 is integer value it's coming as true so here the same thing you have to write str what happened it's false this is not str it's not string so that it's false okay if we see preferred it's false so it is a int if you have put the instance is instance keyword in front of this statement it is it is work as a true or false if you are it is compared to what is the value I entered here? It is if if both data type if the value and data type must be matched. Okay, if the both uh, your value and data type is match, then only the answer display as true. Otherwise, this answer display as false. Okay, ten comma int mean ten is integer. Okay, this ten if you are right here integer int program knows it's integer. So okay, it's true. So right, it's true. 
is this instance so you write cat comma str true this instance two for two dot three dot five comma float what will be the answer is true now it's working perfect now it's working perfect so okay, now we have to have the boolean value also is instance true comma bool it is true it's true okay now it's working perfect here we saw we have do the operations this is very must you must understand the concept well if you are write this one if you have check all the things okay this is all the source code i provide in my website you will be able to study okay this is this is the best practice of python okay in jupyter notebook right if you are writing this this all the statement in pycharm you have write in front of cf train you have write like this okay then the answer is the same but the output output as shown as different okay but here also it's printed same okay same some statement is answer will be provided the different but it depends on the it is the print statement yes right okay i hope you guys you understood things well if you have any doubt you can ask me anytime thank you for watching